In this video, we're actually going to display the fractal on the screen. But before we can do that, we need a few more variables and a few more methods. So let's get going. So we are going to need some way to track where we are in the fractal and at what depth we are in the fractal. So let's create a default zoom, which is going to be 100%. And we're also going to want to have a default top left x position. And we're going to set that to be negative 3. And we're also going to want a default top left y position. Along with that, we're also going to want the zoom factor, which is going to be the default zoom. And you can almost guess what's coming up next. Top, top left x is going to be default top left x. And top left y is going to be default top left y. So now that we have those variables created, let's add one more method right here. After add canvas, let's make a method called update fractal. This is probably going to be one of the most important methods um, in our program because it's actually going to update the display. So public void update fractal. So what update fractal is going to do is it's going to go through every single pixel on our canvas and change its color. So to do that, it's going to need to loop through the canvas. So let's start looping through all the pixels. So while x is less than the width, x plus plus, for y, while y is less than the height, y plus plus. So with x and y, we can get uh, a single color on, on our canvas. But for every pixel, we're going to want to transform the current x and y positions on our canvas to x and y positions in the complex plane. Because remember, we want to grab that complex point C. And that complex point C is going to be parameter and argument for compute iterations right here. So I'm going to say C of R is going to be equal to get x position for x and C of I is going to be get y position for y. Um, the reason C of R is associated with X is because the real values are on the X axis and the imaginary values are on the Y axis. So let's make these two methods right now. So private double get expose. What this is going to do is going to transform the x coordinate into uh, a point on our, or rather a value on our complex plane. So that's going to depend on two things. It's going to depend on our zoom factor and where top left x currently is. And I'm just going to give it to you. It's zoom factor plus top left x. And nearly the same thing for the y. Just make sure you change all these x's to y's. Except one small detail, if you recall, the y-axis is flipped, so we need to put a negative sign instead of a positive sign. 
and this is going these two methods together are going to to get our c of r and our c of i and now we want to use those to call compute iterations which is going to return the the number of iterations so uh, iteration count compute iterations c of r c of i and the next thing we need to do is we actually need to create a color based on the number of iterations. Um, so I'm going to create a very rudimentary make color method right now, but we'll go more in depth in the next video. So let's call this the, the pixel color make color. That's going to take the number of iterations we did. And the last thing we need to do is say fractal image dot set RGB at XY, so at the pixel we're currently on, to be that new pixel color. Oh, and actually I lied. One last thing is to call the method canvas dot repaint and this should work once we finish implementing the make color method um, which I'm going to make right here really quickly so int make color and if you remember this took the number of iterations so iter count and right now we're going to say that if the iteration count is the maximum number of iterations, then we want to return black. So that's going to be color dot black dot get RGB. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to make the background blue. So blue like this. So let me recap what we just did. We created a method called update fractal. It loops through all the pixels in in are on our canvas. Then we we transform those x and y coordinates into points on our complex plane depending on what our top left x and top left y and zoom factor are. Next we calculate the number of iterations that that complex point does and then based on the number of iterations that happen we get a different pixel color and then we set the pixel color on our fractal image and once that's all done we repaint on the canvas so let's see if if I have any bugs you never know I'm clean. If we run this, we just get a blue canvas. So something went wrong. I found our error. Y should be positive. So let's go and run this. And bingo. As you can see, we have a very rudimentary Mandelbrot set. We can't click in and zoom, we can't pan around, but it's being displayed right here and now. Guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.